YouTube. Welcome to another episode of What to Eat. Today we're at Toucan Charlie's Buffet in Atlantis Casino in Reno, Nevada. This is one of the top buffets in Reno. We're gonna try to eat out all of the food here, so come check it out. So for our first dish, we'll be eating the beef pho. They have um, thinly sliced cuts of beef, some beef tendon, some wontons. Gonna squeeze some lemon in here. I'm also going to add some of this sriracha sauce. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, very nice and clear uh, broth. Not as strong as other pho places, but uh, pretty solid. This is their wonton. I believe it's a uh, chicken flavor inside. It's a bit doughy, but the filling is really, really, really good. This is one of the best beef meatballs I've ever tried. Dig in for the barbecue pork bun first. This is what it looks like. Let's see how authentic this is. What is that? Ice cream. It's very bready. And you don't get the red uh, pork barbecue color that, you, that I'm accustomed to. No, I wouldn't get that again. Let's try the shomai. Looks like it has uh, fish paste, shrimp, and carrots inside. Again, it doesn't stand out. It's average at best. Let's see if the hot sauce comes out. Uh, I wouldn't get that again. For the green mussels. like a soy sauce based stir fry. Really good. Let's try the chicken egg roll. 
get a watery, sweet and sour sauce. No, it's not crispy anymore. It's probably been standing for hours. However, the flavor inside is pretty good. This is the fried rice right here. That one is okay. Has some umami flavor. Some MSG. A slight hint of uh, sesame oil. Got some uh, thin uh, rice noodles right here. Mmm, that was good. Just one for us. Gotta dig out the meat here. That one is okay. The flavor doesn't really sink in inside. Maybe the claw has more flavor. Hey, Joe, I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my for our next plate, we'll be having the Mexican station. So we have the Spanish rice, the beef birria, pork carnitas, chicken tamale, cheese quesadilla, tostada, and some chicken fajitas. Let's start out with the tamale. Nice chicken filling right there. The masa is pretty bready. Probably wouldn't get that one again. Let's try the tostada. For those that don't know, this is ceviche, which is a uh, raw fish, but it's been uh, sitting in lemon, so it kind of cooks it in the lemon. That's a fresh taste to it. Nice and uh, onion and tomato flavor and some chili peppers. Let's try the beef birria. There's some nice shredded meat. Beef, that one's very meaty. Very rich in the tomato sauce flavor. It's, uh, shredded pork meat. Mmm. That one was more tender than the beef birria. Let's try the rice. That one was okay. How about the chicken fajita? Chicken fajita is on the salty side. This is the cheese quesadilla. Sorry, enchilada. I would say the pork carnitas is the best among this plate. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. This is another station that they have. Uh, they have a Mongolian barbecue station where they grill up all your noodles and veggies and meat. So for this one, we have the strips of beef, onions, green onions, broccoli, jalapenos, bean sprouts, and uh, noodles. And I chose the Mongolian barbecue sauce. This one's fresh off the grill, so it's still piping hot. has a strong um, teriyaki sauce type uh, flavor. The beef strips are nice and uh, moist. Mm. You definitely don't need to add any more soy sauce to this. It's already uh, strong and salt as it is. 
next time I'm gonna get more vegetables because uh, looks like I barely got any vegetables. I'm missing the crunchness of the veggies. But overall, it's pretty pretty good. Aside from beef, you could also have pork, chicken, or shrimp. And they also have tofu for vegetarian. Okay, guys, this might be our last plate. I'm getting really full, but here we go. We have uh, mashed potatoes and gravy with some portobello mushrooms. We have a Maryland crab cake, calamari steak in the bottom, some smoked beef brisket, some prime rib, some crab legs, and we have some uh, New, New Zealand uh, green mussels and some sushi right there. First, let's go for the crab legs. So it's seafood night, that's why we're having crab. Just a bit well done. It's probably been sitting for a while. They also have uh, snow crab legs over there. All you can eat, guys. Let's try the beef brisket. So this one, they carve it for you. But they gave me a really thick slice. It's very juicy. Whoa. That one literally melted in my mouth. I didn't even have to use my teeth. Super, super tender. Mm. I just wish it had more smooth flavor. It would have been really one of the best ones I've had. Let's try the shrimp with lobster sauce. <clears throat> that one tastes just like frozen shrimp. Mashed potatoes here are very buttery and creamy. Perfect complement with the steak. This is the Maryland crab cake. I don't know, but that one was a fail. Overcooked. And very salty. And uh, don't get that one. I've never had this item before. This is the fried calamari steak. Who knew calamari could be a steak? Mm. Good concept, but very salty again. No on the crab cake and the calamari steak. Okay. Prime rib. <clears throat> Not the most tender prime rib I've had. That one was decent. But I'd much rather have the beef uh, smoked brisket. That brisket is something else. We have this nice plated uh, sushi and some seaweed at the bottom. The rice is really hard already. I've been sitting. For our dessert, we got the chocolate eclair with custard filling inside and a gelato ice cream. There's a ton of desserts over there, but I'm just so full, I can't fit it anymore in my body. So I'll try my best to eat this. Oh, that's pretty smooth for coffee gelato. Wow. Mm. Perfect ending to a meal, a big meal. This eclair has sprinkles on it. I'm not a big sprinkles fan, but I like eclairs, so I'm gonna eat it. Mm. 
I don't like the breadiness of it. A little hard. I'm Custard filling is decent, and I like the chocolate icing. Gelato, on the other hand, is top notch. Wow, this is a must get. Before we end this video, just wanted to give a recap of our meal. What really stood out to me was the beef pho and the barbecue beef brisket. Those were really good and uh, the coffee gelato was very very uh, smooth so you need to try those three things out. I wouldn't get the, the steamed pork bun and also the, the Maryland crab cakes and the calamari steak. Those are way too salty but other than that this buffet has endless amount of food you won't leave unhappy overall i'd give this restaurant a 8.4 prices of the buffet is around uh, 52 dollars for adults and for kids it's uh 25 dollars uh, the best nights to go are on fridays and saturdays they have a steak night and seafood nights so come check it out if you're in the area so thanks again for watching another episode of what to eat don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the notification button, and comment down below. Till next time, 